What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should buy the JSOX cooler. So to go against the JSOX cooler today, we're going to be using our stock fan on our Steam Deck with the Decky plugin Fantastic, setting the fan speed at 7000 RPM and we're going to see whether or not it's worth it to get the JSOX cooler versus just setting your fan speed to 7000 RPM. For today's testing, we are going to be in The Witcher 3 and we are going to plug up our fan to heat up our Steam Deck. So we go ahead and we put the tape on to the vent so we can heat up our Steam Deck so that we can get a long gaming session simulation. Meaning if we had these two plugged in or the fan speed set at 7000 RPM out of the gate, it would take a lot longer for our Steam Deck to heat up, but eventually you would still pretty much hit the same equilibrium of whether or not you had either one of these on. It just takes a lot longer. So for testing purposes, rather than having this run for an hour, we'll just heat it up and see how well the system will cool it. We're not going to use our JSOX mod case today for mounting our JSOX cooler. We're going to use this um, backplate it comes with because if you were to buy this independently this is how you would use it all you do is take it on there adhesive strip plugs right in pretty cool yeah. got to take this adhesive off though pat the sponge pat the sponge testing 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 ah! test do you read all right, guys, um, before we get into our numbers, a little bit of housekeeping um, regarding why we take our room temperature on our desk and not like with a on the wall or whatever or thermostat. And that's mainly because we're in the attic and room temps fluctuate from four to six degrees from the ceiling to the to the floor. And any other spot I put a thermostat, it freaking changes so much whether i walk past or there's a circulation in the air and it's super inconsistent and it changes from a variable of one to two degrees within a short span of even up to 30 seconds to a minute so it's just super chaotic to try to take readings that's why we go off the desk and so let's get into the meat and potatoes in our stock configuration on the steam deck with a room temp 18.4 we have 76 77 fan speed 4800 rpm with a db of 44.5 with the jsox on low we have the same room temp um 71 72 a delta of minus five with a fan speed drop of 600 to 4000 rpm with an increase of 9 db to 53.5 with the jsox cooler on high um same room temp 18.4 we see a delta of minus 10 at 66 and 67 with a fan speed drop of 1400 rpm with the whopping increased db of 21.5 which brings us to a total of 66 db which is screaming loud this thing is loud 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 i don't care what anyone says 66 db is loud that is like a freaking hair dryer on low that is loud. I don't care what anyone says. Then we get into our fantastic plugin with a fan speed set at 7,000 RPM. We have a room temp, same as every other testing, 18.4 with a delta of minus eight across the board at 68 and 69 on the CPU. Obviously increase of 2,400 RPM on our fan with a DB of 60, which is 15.5 from our stock configuration which is roughly 5.5 dB quieter than this on high. With the fan set at 7,000 RPM on the Steam Deck, you get a minus eight, and with this on high, the JSOX cooler, you get a minus 10 in my testing. So a difference of two degrees. This is free. This is 39.99. Free, 39.99 which I highly don't suggest paying that amount. If you're gonna buy this, you spend a little bit more, you get it the mod case cooler that comes with it, 
uh, $49.99 because, not because I'm in love with this or anything or any of the other accessories it comes with, it's mainly because of the way it attaches without it. You want to get that because you don't want to deal with this little freaking adhesive back here, which is super thin. They should have used attack material, but I guess attack material maybe wouldn't have been strong enough to hold this thing up because it is kind of heavy. But if this adhesive goes, it's going to be hard to replace it because it's so thin. Um, and then you're kind of stuck with a fan that doesn't hold. And then you're probably going to have to end up jerry-rigging it with a some like tape or rubber bands like I do. It's not fun. So spend the extra $10, get the mod case um, that comes with it. With that said, this is going to cost you $49.99. This is free. So basically you're paying $25 for an additional minus C delta like that's it so for the extra two delta you're gonna get you're paying 50 bucks for it um when you look at it like that it's really kind of stupid to buy this thing it is it's so stupid um because it's it's crazy how how little difference it will make uh if versus the fan but let's say you already bought it or you said forget you Papi, I'm still going to buy it. I don't care. It's my money, my choice. <laughs> if you do get this cooler, I suggest, highly suggest running these two together. Uh, meaning 7,000 RPM, full blast on here because you get a delta of minus 14, which in my testing in the same room temp of 18.4, we got a 62 and 63 on the CPU with only an increase of dB of 0.5 from 66 with this thing on high. You put, you add this 7,000 RPM fan, only increased by 0.5 dB, which is negligent with an extra delta of minus four, which is, it's, it's really good. Like, I think that minus 14 is a great thing. So if you already have this or you don't mind spending the money, I suggest running in that configuration. But for those that are on the fences, let's don't even look at that. Stick with this normal stock fan and set it to 7,000 RPM. You're going to get great cooling solution. And don't forget, you got to charge this thing. This thing, you got to charge two things now. Uh, it, it, this thing is kind of like kind of stupid and ridiculous in a lot of ways. And we're also going to do some um, fan testing, meaning how long the fan will last uh, on low, medium, high. So stick with your stock Steam Deck. Don't waste the money. Set this thing at 7,000 RPM. And for those that are thinking, oh, that's only going to use up a lot more battery power. We're only talking about an increase of one watt. This is a five volt, two amp um, fan, meaning the max output is 3.75 watts per hour. So you're usually running at 5,000 RPM ish kind of area, which is probably only pulling around 2.6 to 2.8 uh, watts. So meaning if you go full tilt, you're probably only going to be pulling an additional one watt which is kind of negligible when you're thinking about it, especially if you're only playing for an hour. So it's, I don't think you're going to notice the one watt whatsoever. Secondly, fan degradation. These style of fans are rated for anywhere from three to five years. Um, with it running at full tilt, I assure you it's probably going to degrade a little bit quicker. How much quicker? I don't know. But one thing I do know is the stock fan in here, and I fix it, is still $25, where this thing is $50. You could buy two extra spare fans before buying this. Obviously, if you don't want to tinker at all, period, meaning you don't want to open your Steam Deck, you're probably on the wrong YouTube channel, or maybe you're trying to get a fix, which is cool. Thank you for watching. If you don't want to tinker whatsoever, go ahead and buy this fan. Just buy it. That way you don't have to tinker. But remember, get the one with the mod case cooler because you don't want to deal with this adhesive. Still, though, with my opinion, stick with your stock fan save that money save that fifty dollars that you're going to spend on this um buy another accessory that you want maybe you wanted the back plate maybe you wanted a new dock i don't know maybe you want a new game games are expensive y'all in my opinion save the money use it for something else maybe buy a diy poppy t-shirt i'm just saying they're pretty nice they're very very comfy definitely the most comfy shirt you're gonna get on youtube um <laughs> shameless plug thank you for watching stay tuned for more about stay tuned for the next video um we're gonna come out with a video on how long this fan will last on low medium high and how long it takes to charge it so stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that subscribe. My name is Nas, aka DIY Poppy. And I'll see you on the next one.